Okay, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Yeti streams. Can you hear me? <laughs> hello everyone who's waiting, Alvin, GA Trains, Undead, Night Orc, uh, MP, Death Angel, Random English Pikeman, and Jayun. Good to see everyone. <laughs> <clears throat> so today we are going to be upgrading, or at least starting out by upgrading the food, building material to food uh, conversion area, this pier out here on the uh, on the bay. <clears throat> so yeah, let's get started. So let's see. The first thing I want to do is upgrade the number of platforms on the food drop uh, to six, probably. Um, so we now have eight platforms on the building material loading and something like three quarters, or I guess four fifths, or yeah, four fifths of the trains go over here. So logically, we should have some more platforms over here, maybe even like more than six, but I guess we'll start out with six. Um, but that means we have to move the food pick over. So I guess we actually are starting by moving the food pick over by a tile. And yeah, I think also we should do some proper uh, overflows for the station entrance. Oh yes, and we should get some music going. I'm gonna play the SimCity 4 soundtrack today, to start out at least. Okay. Let me know if it's uh, too loud or anything. It's a little bit. Mm. A little bit loud. <clears throat> hey, Ashok, Mr. Loser Dude, and Dario. How do I want to do this? I guess this will just be an exit track. Hmm. I could actually just shift everything over by a tile. I guess I'll do that. Why aren't these aligned? Okay, so double there, and there's the entry signal. I have to move, build this pretty quickly. Um, let's lower everything. over. This is a little bit intense. Okay. 
Get rid of this track. Um, let me lower this. What mod do you use for these stations? These are industrial station renewal stations. Um, so ISR is what you need to search up for that in the content downloader. Okay, and that should be good. Whew. Oh, and I didn't put the waypoint here actually, that's important. There we go. And now we can add these other platforms. Uh, this is the BM to food drop. BM to food drop waypoint. And let's see. I want to add a third track out here somehow. We're going to need to bridge over though. So let's move this over a tile. Yes, and then we have the other bridge right here, where the old one was. Okay. Oh, and we also need that exit signal. Or not exit signal, but signal on the exit, two-way path signal on the exit. Yeah, and then I need to figure out how to get this track connected to these two incoming tracks. We have these waiting bays set up already, kind of awkwardly. Mm. I want to move this track over by a tile, so I'm going to just tunnel under this little spinner. There we go. And that gives us a little bit more space to work with. I still need another tile over here though, really. So we can move this over again. this one straight. Now we have another tile here, which is what we want. So this can split off. Um, let's leave it disconnected for, for now though. Hmm. The train did not stop as quickly as I expected it to. But I need one more tile of space here to get that waiting bay open. Or get a get room for a split off. I guess I could move it a tile back. Wait, that really isn't long enough. Huh. If the train starts here, that's 15, so we need one more tile of space anyway. Hmm. I can move it out another tile. guess. So now this is 16 to right there. And then we can have this split off, I guess. Five tiles for the curve. We can tighten this up as well. And then now this train got lost. <clears throat> I 
Hey Gustavo, welcome back. Jabik Postmas writes, Do you have any solutions for X's at the stations? With a busy station, the trains leaving have a tendency to block the trains entering and vice versa. Is there a space efficient solution? Yeah, one thing you can do is switch out the X's with like a zigzag pattern like this instead. And that means you have to have one extra exit or entrance. Usually you want an extra exit so you don't have a bottleneck at the station. Um, so you can do this instead of an X. Um, the other thing I'm doing here is you can see actually these trains have an order to hit this waypoint. So normally with, with long trains, this is an issue that you can, you can cheat around a little bit. Trains slow down once they enter the platform, but with the waypoint, they, they speed up all the way to the other side of the platform and then they turn around. So they spend less time, a little bit less time on the X. Um, so that helps a little bit for long trains, but overall it's not the worst issue in the world. Um, I mean, the general idea is that you have one track going in and one track going out, so there shouldn't be too many trains that are conflicting with each other since you only have one line of trains at any time, one line of throughput. So like in an ideal situation, they'd alternate perfectly between the two platforms and dodge each other. Although that reality is often disappointing. <coughs> or something. Okay. So then we can merge those together. And just connect that up over here. That should be good. Um, see if trains start taking it at all. Taking that route. Yeah, this one's taking it. Let's check waiting bay lengths. Actually, really, I need to be careful because there's two different waiting bay or stopping positions. This is two tiles. Plus nine is 11. Plus Okay, so this one doesn't actually have two different waiting bay positions. Hmm. You just force this train over here. So it stops here. The waiting bay length is as expected, of course. You can see there. Um, wait, no, that's the wrong track, actually. That's not the one I wanted to test. Okay, I guess I'll just count manually. Okay, four tiles. Plus eight is twelve. Plus four is 16, so the train will stop right there, which means the next train starts right there, potentially. Um, and then 16 tiles of space from back here, that one stops at the bridge, so that's easy to do. And then the other one, two tiles plus 14, stops right there. All right, so there we go. And that's plenty. Trains aren't even really getting to the third set of platforms at all, although there's one right there. Lots of building materials waiting. I wonder if some trains got lost at all. Might be worth funding a town over here also, just to get the rating boost. or do, be able to do advertising campaigns. All right, that's good. Let's add another pair of platforms for the food pickup. Like the ones that have visible cargo. Uh, 
Alright. Let me move this over by a tile. So we can move this over by a tile. So I can move this over by a tile. What mod do you use for the tracks? Right now we're using P-U-R-R, -R, Per Rainbow Rails, uh, Universal Rainbow Rails. The P stands for Per. Um, <laughs> and it comes with a Nuts train set, actually. You can see in the parameters, I guess the parameters doesn't have it, I guess it always adds it. But they're just Universal Rails that work with any uh, type of train. And I guess the special thing I'm using them for is conditional orders, since these special trains get affected by the color of the track. And now that I have this extra bridge over on the exit, I can bridge over right here once this train gets out of the way. And then that can be the exit for this set of tracks. And this one, this station's not too bad to uh, upgrade. Since we have all the space in the world around the water. Uh, it's backwards. Hmm. Yeah, good. Which version is you am I using for this live stream? Let's see. This is 1.11.2. I guess I'm on Steam, so it'll update automatically. Uh, this is an interesting scrolling credits. I've never actually... I don't remember ever opening this menu before. I'm not sure what, how new it is. I like the credits roll. It's pretty slow. <laughs> uh, let me move those a towel closer. Okay. And uh, I mean, at this point, we might even want two tracks going into the station, two tracks coming out. But yeah, there's the upgraded platform set of platforms. Let's add an overflow, a proper overflow. Eight tiles there, eight tiles there. Means trains, the last tile of the train will be there. This would be a tight curve, but I guess it's all right. Um, why do you use, uh, NecoClenge asks, why do you use nuts trains? Do they just work better for what you're going for? Yeah, so, I mean, these specific trains have the conditional order trick, which we can use with the uh, max speed over here. Um, but also, I mean, nuts, the nuts train set was made by V453000, the, one of the, uh, main members of OpenTTD Co-op, so they're very, they're purposely designed to be suited for co-op style of play, high acceleration, relatively low max speed, uh, compared to other train sets. Yeah. So if I stop, let's just check this. Yeah, that's right. So 
Let this go over here. I guess it's not really necessary on this particular map. Sixteen tiles, good. Yeah, so let's get rid of the weird conditional orders that I made last time. gonna say full load at the food pickup. The first full load orders we have in a long time. This extra exit. Let's start getting rid of also the ugly trains that are split into four different sections. <laughs> So you got slugs, these super yellow trains. What's your favorite dumb train? Like dumb looking? The slugs are, the slug trains are a good choice. There used to be like a Nyan Cat train at some point in this train set. That was, that was cute. Let's see. There's also, there is just like a, a hovercat train. I'm not sure if I have any of these on the map. The ducks, slugs, and turtles, I guess. Oh, the also the, uh, the passenger train slugs. Or the um, maglev slugs are pretty cool. I like those ones, the rainbow ones. <clears throat> yeah. Those ones, some of, some of the, um, the maglev slugs have a turn length of one tile even though they go really fast so that's always fun to build around i guess this overflow is fine the way it is let me just get rid of these signals actually so trains won't uh try to take the overflow uh too dense or like too too many of them at once. Okay. Still no trains in this trap here. That's good. How long has this train been sitting here? <laughs> I think this priority might be too long. I guess not more than two years since it made profit last year. Well, it's fine. Okay, fine, I'll fix it. We can shorten the priority. Well, let's just leave it. 
so the food trains should be set for some time now now that they're getting a full load every time um, we'll be we're essentially like getting rid of lots of empty tr empty trains on the main line making our whole, ne whole network more efficient uh, I'd like to do the same with building materials, but we don't have a lot of space on the entrance. We kind of might be able to, though. You can see we have these three different tracks on the entrance. Is this a mod? Yeah, we have a bunch of new GRFs. The main one, I guess, is Yeti for the industries. And nuts for the trains. It might be time to finally turn on Magic Bulldozer to get rid of this town statue. I guess, hmm, yeah, because we could move a lot of things over nicely. <sighs> it would be better. Hey, do you know why when I start a multi-game, my friends can't find it when we had to resort to LAN? Probably has to do with port forwarding. Uh, unless you're on the same network next to each other physically, uh, you have to do some fancy stuff with your router. And get your public IP address and everything, so it's kind of annoying, but... Yeah. You'd have to uh, Google Google how to port forward, <laughs> if that sounds like it could be the issue. Yeah, there are just a bunch of signals missing here, that's interesting. Okay, I don't really want to listen to the regional music. Okay. Hmm. So fit in overflow here. Okay, yeah. We're going to turn on Magic Bulldozer and make some more room. We're going to cheat, but it, it's not really cheating. Because I'm just demolishing the town statue that I paid for. Uh. There we go. Flatten this whole mountain here. Let's, uh, I don't want to screw up the balance. I'm going to do this pretty carefully. So if this goes out here, connection can be like that. Okay. It doesn't really need to go out that far. It can just go out to here. Oh, uh, okay, that's fine. Let's move this BM, BM food split. It's the same station. And then I can remove the second one. You took everything from Manning Pool, even the s statue I gave them. Yes, I did. They were in the way, in the way of progress. <clears throat> Mate tried Yeti, but ran into an issue where industry started disappearing, closing really soon after the start. Any advice, please? Yeah, there's, there's, I guess a bug? I'm not sure. Uh, yeah, I guess a bug like 
five years after you start your map, all the industries pretty much start closing, except if you've served them. So that's really annoying if you're trying to connect up new industries at that point, and usually you're, you are since you're starting a new map. Um, yeah, I guess it's a bug though. It's just something that is important to be aware of, I guess. It is really annoying. The way to prevent it is to serve those industries and get things going really quickly at the start, but that's not always super easy to do. Alright, so let's move over this track. Make sure no industries spawn right here. Don't think there's enough room, but better safe than sorry. Definitely not on this side, but I'm just filling it in anyway. And then, let's just put these right next to each other. This one needs to be yellow. means I cannot really play on bigger maps. Yeah, I mean you might be able to just connect up a bunch of primaries first and skip some of the skip some of the secondary industries but I guess then the secondary industries will close when you don't want them to. Okay, one, two, three. Oops, one, two, three. Let's Bridge this around like so. Connect that up. And now that train's lost. We don't need so much yellow track. Well, this one should be gray. Clean per. We'll go back to red. But yeah, now we have all this extra space. Is this music... Is this a music mod or add-on? It kinda slaps. This is the SimCity 4 soundtrack, which is... I'm just playing through YouTube, so... Not an add-on. There are music sets that you can download though, but this one, I guess, well, you, you wouldn't be able to make this one for copyright reasons. Where is Wanning Pool located? It's hard to tell, because I guess the sign doesn't move when you terraform, so it might still be like a perspective trick where it's... Yeah. Right, so if we look at like this town. See, it's not centered on the sign. Oops. Go to like this town. This town's very much at the level that it's supposed to be because I bought it there. The sign's right in the middle of the screen. This, this one's the sign's kind of higher up. Let's see if I can get the town statue to build right there, though. Okay, local authority, uh, build statue of company owner, yeah, there we go, perfect spot. And I built it a tile lower in case I want to terraform this even more. Uh, 
Yeah, that's a good point, Steven. Uh, you could also find new industries for uh, Yeti. I guess you have to have the money for it, though. Which could you might not that early in the game. When did you start playing TTD and Open TTD? I've never played the regular Transport Tycoon because it was made. It was released before I was born. Um, but Open TTD, I started playing in uh, middle school about I guess nine years ago. So I've had some practice to get to this point. Just want to straighten this out for my... Calm my... Uh, <laughs> so, just, so it looks a little nicer. Let's see. And I want to move everything as far over as I can. So we can move this all the way over here. Maybe not that far. Leave one tile of space. And put the split. Maybe we could put the split further back even. It's not a bad idea. We are tight on space. What's your age? Let's see. I'm 23. Now you can, uh, there's some personal information. <laughs> Not telling strangers on the internet. Hi, XD Boxer, welcome back, good to see you. So I want to connect up this track to the new split here, but there's not really enough room. Um. Unless I like put a bridge here or something, which is silly. Yeah, why? Well, don't need to make it complicated. We can put the split a tile back and then just bridge over here. Let's move this back a tile. Oops. Yeah. And we can also reconnect that there. And then the other split will be right here. And yeah, you can already connect it up, because it's already right there. So I guess we'll need to bridge over here. How do we fit that in? Imagine getting logic trains to ha haul cargo, they're fast AF. Yes, except there's one problem. Well, I guess one problem is that you can't actually attach cargo wagons to them. Huh. Yeah, I guess that is the only problem. Why isn't tractive effort listed here? Oh, because maglev trains don't have tractive effort. Which is weird. Yeah, I thought maybe they had low horsepower, but that's actually not true. But yeah. Unfortunate. You can't, can't uh, haul cargo with them. But good for game balance. How do I fit this all in? It's a tough question. How do I fit this all in also without rebuilding everything? Or demolishing everything all at once? Back, BM, BM food split. Right. Or is that right? BM, BM food split, yeah. 
BM BM food split. IRL maglevs don't e even have engines. The rails is what propels them. Yes, that's true. I'm, so I guess they effectively have unlimited tractive effort. It's something, it's weird. I don't, I don't, I still don't fully understand tractive effort and like the torque and everything, but it is based on like something with the gearing ratio and the, <laughs> the like, the ratio of the imaginary engines, the, you know, the stroke length and everything and the radius of the crankshaft. Something with torque. I should figure it out properly, but I've watched videos on it before. And I still don't fully get it. Diesel gang, diesel is best. <laughs> well, these are technically steam trains. But that's the nuts train set for you. Okay. So at this point I'm ready to move things over, except this connection needs to be bridged properly. But it doesn't actually fit. So I need to bridge it to here, but then this is where the train detector is. Hmm. This does not need to be bridged over like this. to red per can do it like that yeah no steam train looks like this I kind of repeat myself a lot in these but <laughs> it's the way it goes okay there we go that works now So hopefully, I didn't screw up everything. Oh, I did screw up one thing. These trains don't go that way. Or do they? I guess they... Yeah, they do not go that way. So I did screw up one thing. I got the orders right, but the trains are going to the wrong spot. Oh well. tracks as I like. There we go. All right. And have I I have an idea to boost production import unpaid volunteers to do labor. Ah, uh, you mean the yeti dudes. Hmm. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Comments about history of unpaid labor. even out these signals. 
now look at all this beautiful real estate new real estate we've obtained up here it's even we can lower this this a tile let's lower this one a tile Imagine those fast moving looping trains in real life. Yeah, I think the track would have to be banked at 90 degrees rather than being flat on the ground. Okay. Wait for this train to get out of the way. And then I'll lower this. And I'll switch back to red per. Lower this one. Ah. Okay. It's going back. And then lower this. Hello, Mohammed. Imagine the train conductors of the logic trains. They must be trained like astronauts, yeah. To withstand the amount of G-force, definitely. You could do some math as to how fast, how many, how many Gs they're actually pulling. That's a lot. Logic trains screaming as they whiz around the loops, you know. I have a question, which track set do you use? This is per uh, Rainbow Rails, universal, per universal Rainbow Rails, from the nuts train set. I'm gonna move this over even another tile. I guess we'll keep it one tile over so there's no zebra pattern on the track color. Okay. Good. Can terraform this down even more. And now, look at this. We have some room for actual overflows, potentially. Yep, SimCity 4 music. Uh, what was I gonna do? See, our production's going up. That's a new, uh, what, five year high? I guess six years. How's, how many trains do we have waiting here? Good. Let's get rid of the weird looking ones. Okay. And we even have more room for the mixers we're going to have to upgrade potentially over here. Um, but let's fit in an overflow. I guess we have to do basically three connected overflows. 16 puts the train right there. Uh, and similarly down on these ones. I might want to terraform this to flatten it out. I guess we don't need to.
Yeah. So the train stops there. This is where the reverser would branch off. And we need 15 and room for the spur. So there's 16 tiles. <sighs> yeah, salt the slug. <laughs> I guess I should put this one on the other side since there's actually room over here. here. And one more tile of space. Hmm. I think we're going to terraform this whole area. Up a tile. We don't actually have room because we need this extra tile of space for the signal. So I think that means we move everything over a tile. Oh, but we don't have room over here because these are too high. <laughs> so we lower these. trains. This one needs to be yellow. BM BM food split. Okay, that should be good. Actually, I need one more tile, one more tile. There we go. this over a tile, have that there, this splits off, goes out here, and then this all needs to be lowered, this needs to be connected here and here, and there, that's five, four, four, that's fine. And then we got a room to set up this one. Hmm. Even ideally, we would move this all the way over, but I guess that's a reasonable option I still need more space because where is the overflow depot going to go it's not clear so this bridge doesn't have anywhere to go right now
I guess we'll put move this over. Bridge over here, but the last one's gonna be tricky still. Hmm. <clears throat> We need more space, said like a true American. Can't get in the way of progress. Mm -hmm. Let's say move this back over here. So we could have room two tiles on the inside, which I think will be a little nicer. To work with. Yeah, so now this is the tile for the overflow, which is nicely aligned. Let's flatten this out so it doesn't look so awful. Just realign these signals as well. Why are there no trains coming? Then there's the reverser. And how the heck do we get this track over here? Doesn't need to be high capacity at least. We have that going for us. Like that. <laughs> Beautiful? Question mark. <clears throat> So, so terrible looking. Am I still playing Minecraft? Not really in the past few years. I guess I'll build it over like this. Just leave it like this, um, or move over a tile, and then worry about it later when we need space to mess with these tracks here, which we definitely will need space to deal with. Got a lost train here. BM load waypoint. Do I have a backward signal or something? I 
guess it was just poorly timed. He wants to just use the overflow. Okay, so there you go. You can go in there. That doesn't actually let them bypass. So let's see. We'll have a signal here. And then we need 16 tiles. Move everything a diag move everything over by a diagonal tile. That train also wants just really eager to use our overflow. Yeah, so we'll do something like this. So five tiles and then nine tiles I mean the last tile of the train will be right there so now these trains in the let's oh not that one let's delete this one since it looks weird um, yeah but now they should start taking this overflow try making a minecraft minecart system to transport iron to a crafting table to produce tools yeah <clears throat> the I really enjoy some of the Minecraft mod sets, but I think like they add a lot to the game that I feel like is missing from the game. Because otherwise, crafting things can be overly tedious. I think this is good. Missing some signals here. Um, and let's do a proper priority setup here. We don't want to let trains out as long as there are trains in this area here. Maybe I should even give choice if I want to be fancy. And I kind of do want to be fancy. between two of these tracks. Let's see. Six tiles plus 10 tiles. Ooh. Doesn't fit. Yeah, six, 10. I guess I can do it like this. And this one, seven tiles plus nine tiles is right there. Have extra space.
So then these priorities... want to basically go back nice and far so like over here maybe hmm <laughs> I want to fit a tunnel in here yes that fits Now I can't get this track in. We don't actually need that. We just go straight back. Might be over engineering this a little bit. Priority will go back there. Then I want to connect it up to over here. I guess that's not necessary. Well, kind of is. And then how do I get this track over? I get rid of that bridge and terraform this. And there we go. Then we do the same for this one. Oh, I put this on the wrong side. I guess I can just put it out on this side. <laughs> and we want this priority to go way back here. Oh, our music. Okay. I guess we'll work backwards. Uh, let's color these tracks gray so I can see what's going on. For these fancy priorities. Mm hmm. And then. I just need them to go out. Oh wait, no, this is, I, it was right before. This is the side that's deprioritized. Okay. How do I even connect anything up to here? Can't get a tunnel underneath. Can bridge here. Might not be worth the effort. Okay, whatever. <laughs> let's not. Let's get get the full load order going first. We'll see trains start to use this. 
priority. You can just go here. Hmm. Yeah. So much effort and brains into a game that was designed in the 1990s, yeah. <laughs> Got the full load order now. I want to start seeing some trains backing up here. You can also move this reverser to be more compact. How did you acquire your skill at OpenTTD? Did you learn yourself or get taught? Sort of learned um, by playing with the OpenTTD co-op group, which is sort of dead right now, but we're trying to revive it. So a combination of both. It seems like the full load orders are not causing any backup of trains. So I'm gonna add some more trains. Now that we have the overflow, it should be fine to spam as many as we want. Oh, I guess, I guess I can do the reading from here. Just like, ugh. Wow, it doesn't fit? How does this not fit in? <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I can do it like this. So now, trains at this priority. We'll be looking back here, back here to here. But actually, this is not ideal now because they're blocking the overflow entrance. So I've sort of done this in a bad way. Hmm. stop the trains from going unless there's a space over here. <sighs> so this overflow doesn't work. It's disappointing. Let's just give one of these four tracks as an overflow entrance. We'll do this one. We'll get rid of this um, reverser by moving it over to the other side here. Of course, then there's a question of how to even get it across, but... Yeah, let's just remove this.
Have the reverser split off right here. Kind of want these trains. Hmm. Not ideal. Maybe I could put the reverser underneath one of these other tracks. But it's one tile too long? Maybe? Let's do it like this. Like, that's kind of what I want to do. So 16 is right there, though. So we can shorten this curve, I guess. this? YouTube is not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming? Is this true, guys? Viewers will experience buffering. Uh-oh. Stream quality. Can I... Can't change the stream latency now. Have I played Transport Fever 2? I've not played Transport Fever 2. Unfortunate, I don't know how to fix the stream quality. This didn't really solve the problem I was trying to solve, actually. So let's just put it back here. Also, move the bridge back a tile. Which seems good. Yeah, because then that aligns a little better. Yeah, that aligns perfectly. Sixteen tiles here. I guess bridge here. Ooh, that's not what I wanted to do. Bridge here. Oh, now that train's gonna get lost. Let me just, hmm, how do I, okay, I'm just gonna get rid of this train.
So this needs to be 16 tiles now. And that is... We can get that over the same bridge as before. And actually, let's shift this track over a tile. And shift this track over a tile. And we'll have this outermost track be the ones where the uh, overflowed trains go. Uh, well, we still need those. Right, okay. Reversers are good, reverser here, two reversers here. And then this waiting bay length. Stops right here. And I wanna somehow deprioritize this track. We can do this in a little bit of a funny way, I guess. Hmm. Let me get rid of these tunnels so I can lower everything. There's a lot of smoke particles. Okay, there we go. And then what I'll do... Is I'll use path signals... To force trains here to wait for all four other waiting bays to be empty. Which shouldn't happen very often. So you can see that. And then that actually lengthens this a little bit. Uh, yeah. And that should be good. Yeah, trains aren't having any trouble with the full load. How are we doing on cargo? Delivered. It's going up. That's what I like to see. Hey Z-Man boss, good to see you back. Yeah. Let's get rid of these ugly trains. We'll clone the nice looking ones. Check on the food. Can do the same. Nope. Ugly one already escaped. Yeah, so I mean this this is good. So we got the overflow. Overflow for the building materials. I'm surprised. Well, I didn't even expect that we'd be able to fit it in at some level, but we made the space. Yeah, look at that empty platform. Lots of stone. For some reason. Not as much clay and wood. 
see how the rest of our network's doing. And I guess, oh, look at this. Stone is backing up due to uh, this misaligned waiting bay. So I guess I can't really have the waiting bays be this long due to these short tiled trains that are four tiles long. Just unfortunate. So let this train go. Yeah, just from coming around this little drop. That's why it's fortunate to have, or it's, it can be annoying to have trains that are multiple lengths. Different lengths. Yeah, it's sort of jamming up. Getting pretty close to the other main line, it's not good. Yeah. So now that we upgraded the food platform and the building material platform with an overflow, I want to do the same with these primary industries so we can do full loads on them as well. Oh yes, there's just tons of wood waiting. Ha, ah, this is good, this is good. But yeah, let's... Fit this in. I'm just gonna realign this. I guess actually it was better before because then there's enough room for a train to wait before it merges Let's move this uh, exit turn further back around. Up here to give room to build the some sort of overflow up here. You can even go further back, might as well. No need to build excessively compact. Go up over here. And the stream is healthy again, good. The other exit route. The four tile curve there, it'll be okay.
All right. And just connect them up. entrance Let's see you can see that the train stops right there which means the priority exit or the overflow exit would be back there I don't actually like where that is so let's lengthen this out a little bit. Put it on the outside now. Get rid of this depot. Oops. I guess it's not too bad once that depot's out of the way. But we'll move it over. To here. Use this train to measure. Yeah, so right there. Is that right? Yeah, perfect. We just have the overflow split off. Nine tiles plus four is 13. If it splits off like that, let's go out to there. Yep. Yeah. All right. You can have the overflow rejoin over here somewhere. so I'm just going to add a train to measure the distance. So right there, that looks fine. We can put the depot on the inside. Uh, just have some tight curves. this priority <clears throat> um, and that needs to actually come back and check over here
and then this priority can come back here check both of these tracks say right here come back around let's color this gray And then I want it to connect to the reverser. Just like that. Okay, that looks good. So now let's switch these out to have full load orders. I'll spam a few more of them. Since, well, I guess the amount of waiting wood has gone down though. should fill in some signals here. There we go. And let's do the same for clay if we can. We have less room here. We might want to do the overflow right on the split. In fact, that is what I'm going to do. Sixteen tiles. I don't know how we're gonna fit like a full waiting bay in here. Put it right here. Like back here. Can you share the save file for learning purposes? Yeah, it'll be in the description of the VOD. You can get the, uh, the version at the start of the map or the start of today in the VOD right now. But once the VOD's uploaded, I'll have the, the end of end of today's version. I really wanna just redo this area. This thing's a mess. Do the battery pickup, this random track coming around. Let's move this track over here, at least. some space. Not a lot. 13. Guess I'll move this over. I 
and put the waiting bay over here. That's 14 tiles, so we need two more. And then the depot can go right here. Assuming that fits, 11 plus 3 is 14, 15, 16, 7, yeah, so that's good. And then we'll just bridge over. And then the priority over here. Let's move this back a tile so we have room for the priority. And then just connect this to the reverser. And you're building as if you have coded the game. <laughs> I did, I have added uh, one, I've made one commit to the code base. So in a way I have coded one tiny piece of the game. And then let's add a bunch more trains. Oh yeah, and full load orders. How's this exit doing? All right, let's see if, oh, that one doesn't, isn't gonna take the overflow. Let's see if everything's working. Oh wait, yeah, no, this is right. This is right. How complex is the base code? It's not too complicated, but it's gotten really messy over the past, you know, 15 years. <laughs> People add features on and it's not super well thought out all the time. There's a train using the overflow, good. There we go. How's our production doing? Lots of stone. It's going up slowly. 90% transported, that's very good.
I am... I mean, this is the latest version of OpenTTD. So... Nothing fancy there. Random path signal there. Weird. How are we doing at the food pickup? 80% transported, that's good. Gonna do an advertising campaign. Actually, this might not even be close enough to hit. Oh, it's not. That's interesting. <laughs> it's not even close enough to hit that. <laughs> to get the advertising campaign, because the food pick sign is right there. Let's fix that. It's going to require rebuilding the station, though, to move the sign over. And check on the overflow. Looks good. Well, I mean. I'm not really abusing them, it's just that you need to be within 20 tiles of the town center. Well, I guess I am abusing them because I, I built a town here just so I could advertise. It has zero people. But it's... my station's so large that the sign for the station is too far away from the town to get the advertising bonus. So we gotta move the sign over. Seems reasonable enough to me. Let's just back it up. Uh, yeah. In fact, we can just go all the way over to the end, so now it's right here. So let's food pick up. And let's rebuild the food pick up. Make the station look somewhat interesting. Okay, there we go. Got these trains rolling again. So now I can do an advertising campaign. And this rating should, yeah, see, 100% rating. Perfect. Get rid of the ugly trains. Thanks for score. It's a great soundtrack. Yeah, we're overflowing with food. How about building materials? Ratings 84, quite good. Oh yeah, this is looking good. This is looking good. Trains aren't even using the overflow. I mean, I guess we need more platforms then. Ah, oh, it's lagging because of the animations. How do I even fit in more platforms? 
That's the hard thing. Oh, thanks, Skit. I mean, I guess I do want to fit in more platforms, so... Because we have full load orders, and our trains can't even keep up. Well, I guess they're, they're just approximately keeping up. But I want to have some buffer room, some extra throughput we can count on. So I'm terraforming this to move this track over two tiles. So these trains are really not balanced very well between these two tracks. I wonder where that's coming from. Hmm. I don't know. Looks like it's fine now. Then we'll flatten this out. And we need to do some terraforming with the logic here. We need to lower it by what, like three tiles? Let me move this donut somewhere else, if I can fit it in, which I can't really. Say this connection's here. Well, that's actually the output, but oh, don't let those trains out. Oh wow, this is at a different height. I didn't even notice. I guess that'll be all right. Um, connect it from here though. Ah, oh, but we can't. Ah, oh, but we can because we can connect it there. Okay, so we do there. Match these signals. And now these trains have a new route that they're going on. And that train, the logic train is going to spin for a second while I fix this. put this in a tunnel if we can put it in a tunnel there's a tunnel over here tunnels in the way now. Okay, so let's not put it quite here. We can lower it another tile and put it in a tunnel. That's good. Lower this. Ah, but then the tunnel's still too high, of course. Let me look through these industries. Now this part's an issue. I'm gonna have to lower this. Or maybe find a different route for this line. I could bridge over, for example. OK. 
Okay. I guess we bridge over this one. Lower this a tile, and there we go. Yeah, I can also rearrange the knot gate. Which is probably worth doing, but whatever. Got it to fit. And there we go. Two new platforms. Uh, and now the question is, how do we even fit these? I mean, it might be time for like a third set of splitter, a third logic splitter over here, now that we have room. what I want to do is fit in another track right here somehow. It's like right here. And a bunch of things will probably have to be moved back a tile. Like this bridge will have to be raised by a tile. Which means we need another tile for a signal there. So let's start moving everything back by a tile. And this is what we just upgraded at the beginning of today. I'm gonna be messing with it again. this train so I can do this a little bit quickly. Oh, I have to remember what this was. Oh shoot. Okay, I guess you're going that way. That looks approximately right. This will now go through a tunnel. Uh, wrong direction here. We'll go that way. And there we go. Looks right. Let's just check. This is going to the BM to food drop. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so let's move this detector forward. Where's the train count currently at? Good question. We're at 441 trains. So we did pass through the 400 mark pretty quickly this episode. Okay, so then I'm gonna get rid of this bridge so it can be a tile higher, which will also involve terraforming a little hump here. This bridge here. And now we can fit another tunnel in here. Actually, we have to move this back another tile. So there we go. Hey, Benjamin. Glad you could make it.
Alright, so there we go. Fit in one more track, tile of track. Um, and I guess this will bridge over now, this exit. cross over here because then we get a double S turn. I guess there is fine, but then we need, we actually want one more tile of space because these waiting bays are very precisely aligned. Guess we'll go down here. Still a double S turn, but it's not as bad. Signals aren't aligned anymore. Hmm, that bridge is not in a nice spot for blocking that, but I guess most of the time it doesn't matter. Okay, and the other thing is this bridge needs to be a tile longer. Which means all of these need to be moved over by a tile. Which is not that easy to do. So this one doesn't have any room. Hmm. I <laughs> thought this was a transport tycoon out of motherboard wiring simulator. Yeah, this is pretty crazy. I'm trying to move these bridges over by one tile, but there's no room. move this edge detector over by a tile. This is still in the way. Let me mess with this a little. I guess we still we do need to move this over a tile regardless. See, now the train is blocking itself from moving. Can I just put a normal signal there? I guess I can. I think that works. Are the trains smiling like that? Because they're happy. They get to spin around in circles all endlessly for all time. I 
what more could you possibly ask for out of life? Okay, and now we get to move everything over by a tile. Ta-da! to move this bridge back by a tile. Uh, convert to that. Go back to red per. Convert these. Move this back. And there we go. Fit everything in. Why is this stuck? Really went that way. I wonder what happened. That's not good. Now we have lots of food waiting. Okay, so now we can extend that bridge by a tile, which was the whole point of that last 10 minutes. Okay. And now we just have one more tiny little track that we can connect up. It doesn't even connect up that nicely because this only connects to the overflow line, which is not what we want. So let's move the overflow line a little. So move these reversers over. Then we can move that line over. Can move this tunnel over a tile for the overflow. It's not getting much use, but we got the room. Victor Rosenfield. Hi, Lugnuts. I really enjoy your streams. I learn quite a lot, but I also find them strangely, rela strangely relaxing. I've been actually putting them on in the background when I do chores. Oh, that's nice. I'm glad to uh, be part of your day. I usually like when I go to bed I like turn on some chess stream or chess VOD and they're always very relaxing. So yeah, I can relate. How are we doing for ratings? 67. Terrible. Oh yeah, I was going to turn industries back on. Oh, this, I stopped that train? Wait, what? Waiting for free path. I guess that train was stopped. Why is there an extra tile of space here? Hopefully that wasn't important for waiting bay length. <clears throat> okay. So I want to boost our ratings here. Man, we really dropped a lot. 
Yeah, that's not good. Do just do that construction, jamming things up a little bit. I kind of want to build another town so I can do advertising. <clears throat> Out over here on the ocean. How close is this sign? Where is this sign even? It's pretty close. Let me just let this clear out so I can move the sign closer to the ocean. <laughs> and we can do the advertising trick by finding a city over there. What the? Wait, what, where's the train going? Do you see this? The train went invisible. What the? Weird. It's not supposed to happen. I'm also playing the spooky SimCity song. What is it doing? Anyway. Oh shoot. Left and let another one in. Oh, that one disappeared as well. That's an interesting bug. Let's see if to see if I can reproduce that. Okay. Okay. BM load. love to know how you approach passenger networks. Would you always do that with self-regulating networks? Yeah, usually actually. Usually self-regulating. In the Yeti stream, you only connect one industry to each type, but that doesn't work if you want to service every town on the map. Yeah. So self-regulating is the way I would choose to do it. See, that actually didn't trigger the switch not what we want. Let's move this up. I wonder how often that's been happening. Because I could see that happening over here as well. See the potential for it to happen. Actually, this can just connect directly. All right, let's find our town out here.
and that should give us a hundred percent yeah there we go and i could use the uh city mania client to auto advertise even hopefully we recover from the slump though yeah so now there's a lot of trains backed up here Presumably over here as well. Yeah, they're in our overflow. We can get rid of the weird looking trains though now. How many units of cargo do you move a month? We peaked out at 202,000 it looks like. And each of these trains carries about 800, 840. And you can see the whole thing, whole network's backing up. Overflows are filling up due to the slump. See the building material overflow does have a few trains. Let's, mm, hmm. Gosh, it's so hard to see what's going on. Make this station look a little more interesting. What did I just do? Huh. I can't actually see the station. But I'll put in some of these buildings. Hard to see what's going on. Okay, sure. Uh-oh. Getting some stream health issues again. Are we lagging a little bit? happened to the machinery oh so this is the problem wow okay let's get this train out of the way yeah we really don't want trains to get lost here it's not what we want that's the problem so our whole machinery networks completely jammed up Build a uh, emergency turnaround for trains on this sub network. Yeah, look at all this machinery waiting. 0% transported. Not good. Not good. Let's do a large advertising campaign here. So that'll get our rating to good, even though it's not good. Yeah, we're going to have a sudden influx of machinery. Um, so hopefully that will boost us before we finish off this stream. Oh my goodness. Look at all these trains. 
stream health is okay again, that's good. Yeah, look at these boats going. It's gonna send like a wave of cargo through our whole network. Um, let's kill this town, I guess. Looks like that was something we started a long time ago. There we go. Oh, there's still buildings there? There we go. Rest in peace. 2321. Oh, that's not the right kind of depot. Send all these to the depot. Clear this area must demolish bus station first. Oh, does the local authority not let us demolish these roads? Oh, that's a really weird error message. There we go. One bribe. Okay. How are we doing here? We did move out all the machinery. Station rating is excellent. Let's do another ad campaign. Wow, train number 18, goodbye. Hello, I'm still in day two. I just came to the future to say hi and thank you very much for keeping the game alive. Thanks for your nice comment. You have a lot to uh, watch if you're gonna actually watch it at real time. Okay, let's check our primaries. Should be a boost now. There's just a lot of machinery waiting everywhere, arriving now. Hmm. Let's check our station list. Wood Yeti pick. Wow. It's a lot. Hmm. Can't keep up. Should be able to keep up. I think we had like another set of platforms. This song is a landfill. Uh, but yeah. Thought about how all the this lines could look in real life. It would be very <laughs> intimidating in real life. I guess we can add a few more trains. Lots of machinery now, but the trains are just slowly leaking out of the overflow. Can't keep up.
like Oasis and Electricity. Which one's my favorite? I do like Landfill. This is a region music one. So I'm gonna skip it. These ones all are. Crosswalk Talk is a good one. Wow, it really dropped down due to that machinery jam. So yeah, well, I said I was going to add a reverser here for lost trains or an escape route. So let's follow through with that to prevent that from happening again. <laughs> and then just connect it up here. We can add a uh, depot trap. I'm going to fit this in. Yeah, that should be good. Yeah, so we're starting to recover from that. Food trains are still backed up into the depots. Building material trains really don't back up much. Don't overflow much. How are we doing? We need to just add more of them, right? Keep them topped off. And then I'm getting a little tired. Let's probably end the stream pretty soon. Maybe after another few months and you can see if production is back up. Yeah, I think the number of trains on our network is lower now. It gives us room to expand due to our overflows. We don't have empty trains wasting track space, which is good. There's one more overflow to do. I did clay and 
wood already. We still have to do the stone one. So let's take a look at this one. There's room here. Kinda wanna... Let's see where these trains end up. Yeah. I'd rather have the crossover be right here. So then I can do any overflow stuff I want back here. Let's get rid of this hump in the main line. If we can. get rid of this mixing here. Yeah. I don't know how this town likes us. I guess there's some station in its range. I just haven't pissed them off enough. where these trains stop. So that actually stops right there, which is perfect. And then this one, we can just count it out. Five plus 11. So that's right there. So we can put the reverser. I mean, we can even just do like simple, simple overflow. Yeah, for now. And then we'll end this episode. Eleven plus five is sixteen. And then on this side. to get over the bridge there. That's actually kind of a bad spot since the bridge will cause trains to go in the overflow when they probably shouldn't, like this one. Eh. Yeah, this is not good. Okay, we will do a proper overflow. We'll do a proper overflow. to get back on. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. 
excuse me. This train is not helping. There. bridge proper probably Ugh. so two plus fourteen how do we fit in fourteen what is the slug pier anyway it's a big slug that converts building materials into food by eating them over here. And then attracting fish that are caught for food. Hopefully that makes perfect sense. We were over here, yes. The future sure is interesting. Yes, it is. <laughs> it's a great comment. <laughs> wow. Two plus 11 is 13, 14, 15, 16. I guess we'll just do it like this. Uh, that doesn't leave room for a depot. Let's move everything back. So that music change was perfect. Oh, I didn't notice, but that's nice. Okay. We'll connect this up. back this up by a tile. Okay. Let's figure out how to properly double these bridges actually. all these trains are taking the overflow when they shouldn't. It's causing a jam back here on the main line. Not good. Production's back up though. a little bit of a tight curve, I guess.
<laughs> and we could even just move everything back a tile to save some space. Go ahead and go like this. The overflow could go right here. It's a little bit funky. That works. Sixteen tiles back here. And for this one, let's do the same sort of thing. tiles goes right there. Yeah, that's good. Now we can set these to full load. while we build the priorities out here. Should be fine. And then these priorities are a little bit trickier. I'm not sure how I'm going to fit this one in. I guess we can move this over. backwards. Let's use clean per to denote it. And I want it to connect, well, I want it to connect to this track. Also go back and connect to this reverser. this one as well. That's not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. And get out our track from over here. I want to connect this up to this reverser. this town. Okay, there we go. What's going on with these trains? Ah. 
That's an issue. The doubled bridge. Hmm. Dang it. So this is the last thing to fix. How can I fix this? I guess we just have to keep it doubled all the way through. Hi, Redisku. You made it in time just for the very end of the stream. I guess I can mix them. this works even though it looks bizarre get rid of this tooth tile curve something a little bit better like four tiles How did this train get here? I guess I made it get lost because I was rebuilding over here. Okay. Yeah, I think that works. I think all the waiting bays should be in the right spots. Add some more trains. Ooh, yes, we're at a new all-time high production. Or at least, uh, maybe not all time, but past five years. Yes, 206, back up to 206. I think we were at that point at some point earlier. We do not want trains to block that cross. Put that there. Ooh, that's not aligned correctly. Oh yeah, just because of this tiny little one. Go be free. Yeah. Okay, so that's all aligned correctly. Good, good. This works. And this works. Seems to. Um, except that something's off with this. Yeah, we don't want that extra signal there. I guess I can put one there and get rid of these two. Oh, and then this needs to be a path signal, of course. And Oh, got let out again. Weird. This is backing up. 
Maybe this ratio is wrong. How do you maximize the cargo transportation? You have to have a high station rating. You can get a high station rating by frequent service, keeping the waiting cargo low, and doing advertising campaigns and building town statues. I have a video about it. And now that train didn't go into the depot. Is for some reason it's treating this like a block? Why is it green? Wait, wait, wait. Why is it green? Because this is green? Oh my, because that needs to be a combo signal. I'm still confused as to why... Let's see. Stop this train. And stop this train. Why isn't that train going into the depot? I guess because there's two choices? the split further back. Because these trains are backing up pretty far here. here. It's blocking the main line. Not what we want. So five there. This is not really a permanent fix, but it's better than nothing. Yeah, so why isn't... <sighs> it's unfortunate. It really doesn't like the depot. I guess we'll just have to force them to go into the depot. that. That's an easy way to fix it. Victor, I had a train ignore the depot and go to the wrong palm because there was a split directly after the depot. There needs to be a signal in between, I think. Yeah, I guess so. But I'll just force them into the depot like this. So it works. Oh, wrong platform. Yes, I'm not sure why I didn't even realize palm didn't make sense in that situation, in that sentence. Okay, but we can start these trains now. I think that should be good for today. Cargo delivered is dropping off a little. It seems like the exits can't handle the 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 station, I guess. Which makes sense because we have what like four entrances, four or five entrances, and two exit, two exits, two tracks worth of exit.
So we'll probably have to upgrade that next time. Yeah, look at these trains blocking each other. Oh, 14,000 tons of building material. That's what I like to see. How's our food pickup doing? Good. And the overflows, pretty much empty. All right. I think that's going to about do it for this episode then. This, uh, this stream. So, thank you all for coming and watching. I wonder if the logic trains make this game technically turn complete. Yeah, it is turn complete. Uh, to a finite approximation. Because you can build whatever logic gates you need to. But yeah, this is going to be the end of this episode. I got distracted. So thank you all for uh, coming and watching. And as always, uh, we'll have the save game in the description of the VOD. Sweet. Oh, and how's machinery doing? Oh, we have a lot of machinery waiting. Why is this jammed up? Ah, because this is jammed up. Because this is all jammed up because of something over here. Let's just make sure there's no jam. Oh my goodness. Okay, it's clearing up. Interesting. <laughs> okay. Oh, they're they're blocking up here because they're all trying to go. Are they lost? Wait, battery pickup, clay machine drop, battery pickup. What's going on? Well, I guess we have uh, another episode in store because it's not <laughs> the network's not perfect yet. Let's mark a flag here that something's jamming. But yeah, okay, this will be the end of the episode. Also, YouTube is saying that we're not receiving enough video to maintain smooth streaming. So maybe no one's even seeing this part of the VOD. But thank you for coming regardless. Yes. All right, and I'll see you next time. I'm just going to wait and see if the stream will catch up so we can catch this last bit of the VOD. <laughs>